So thank you both for being here. Um, these are the SGA candidate videos that will be posted to our social media and also our YouTube for all your classmates to see before the debate. Um, so to start off, for those of you that, for those that might not know you personally, tell us about yourselves. Where are you from? Academic, non-academic interests, extracurriculars, personal strengths, etc. Hi guys, my name is Noah Toole. Um, I'm from Morgantown, Pennsylvania, and I'm a fifth form day student. Um, I'd like to say that my academic interests are math and humanities. Uh, my non-academic interests are running and um, hanging out with my friends. Um, my extracurriculars are I'm a part of the DEI committee, a part of the hate speech task force, and I'm part of BLISS, which is a student-led organization um, advocating for people of color in prep schools. Um, my strengths would probably be I'm personable, social, and reliable. Hi, I'm Sarah Jang. I am a third year border international student from Shanghai, China. I was born in Auckland, New Zealand. Um, some academic interests of mine are the sciences, so physics, chemistry, biology, and math. Non-academic interests, I like art a lot, so drawing, painting. Um, I also play the drums for the school orchestra, so I enjoy doing that, hanging out with my friends, um, from time to time maybe read about all of it. My extracurriculars are I'm a co-president of the Mall United Nations Club. I am involved in Blood Drive, in The Hill News, and in DECA. And some strengths of mine, I would say I am upbeat. I have an enthusiastic, positive personality. I would say I am approachable and open-minded to the people who approach me. And if you guys, we are not mic'd, this we can cut this out, we're not mic'd because that's like, we don't really have. Just raise our voice. Uh, so yeah, if okay. you just like, and speak. Okay. So. so our second question is, why are you running for SGA co-president? So I would say that I'm running because I hold Hill to a high standard. I've been with Hill and the community for a long time since I had an older brother go here. And I feel that my time being here, I've seen the Hill community and family grow and I want to grow it as well even more. I know that the sky is the limit for the community and I want to see it get better, even better than it already is. Um, I think similar to Noah, I do have a personal connection to Hill, but in a different way. I am the first person in my family to leave the country to go to an, a Western community school. So I think it was difficult for me to have to um, not only leave my Shanghai bubble for the first time in my life, to be in a new community with a Western culture, and also have to manage like a health predicament that I had to that I had never managed myself over a long time without the support of my family. I think for me personally, I have grown a lot, a, a big range from being a freshman to now a fifth former. And these experiences and these hardships are things that most or many Hill kids or new incoming Hill students may have to go through. Um, and using my lessons and how I have overcome these hardships, I would, I feel like being running for SGA is the most direct way I can support these students to become a stronger member of the Hill community like I have personally, which is why I feel like between Noah and I, we have, we have a broad range of students we can connect to. I know for me, in the past when choosing my previous SGA presidents, I normally was more appealed to the candidates who I connected with more. And between Noah and I, my running partner and I, I feel like we can connect to the biggest range of Hill students and help them develop into strong community members as a running pair. Thank you. So what's your favorite Hill memory, each of you? Um, I'll go first. So I think my favorite Hill memory was in third form year back in 2018. I think it was probably a month into school and the whole school was out at the farm fields for our first cookout. I think it was a football game against against Paw Sound High. I think what was special about that situation was there was a thunderstorm and the entire Hill faculty students were all taking shelter in the then Dell dining tent. I think in that moment I felt the third form is especially weren't 100 individual new students, but we were growing and connecting and talking to each other and slowly kind of bonding in that very special circumstance, not only with third form, but with the other members of the Hill community, with faculty, with other students. Um, so I think that night for me especially was just 
a night that I truly started feeling like um, I could build my personality and build myself in this community. I would say my favorite Hill memory is um, third form year. Um, we were, my soccer team, uh, made it to the state championship game. Um, this was pre-COVID, so this is when people were allowed to attend games. And I just remember the huge backing that we had, the huge support that we had from faculty members, students, and parents, and you know the whole Pottstown community as well. But the people that weren't able to go to the game in person, they had to watch online and on, um, on video. And I remember coming back the day after that and everyone was hyped. But when I was there in the game, I scored. And when I ran over to the, um, the bench and saw everyone, everyone was cheering. I was just a third former. And I saw at that moment that it didn't matter where you came from, who you were, but because you had Hill on your chest or Hill on your back or whatever, because you were part of the family and the community, everyone supported you and wanted you to succeed. And that was my favorite memory. And there's been a lot of other memories like that, but that was just the one that was monumental to my Hill career. So what are three specific goals you hope to work on as SGA co-president? I think we want to focus on bettering equality as a unity. So not just to any specific, but being uh, just equality across campus in general. We want better communication and we want to specify the difference between communication and transparency. I think almost every single running S previous SGA candidate has mentioned they want a transparency between administration and the students, but we truly believe a campus can be transparent but not communicative. So we want to really push for the communication between SGA students and faculty. And finally, we want to focus more and delve into some issues that may not be touched on that actually may be affecting the whole community that are not that much noticed um, and I think Noah will elaborate on those a little bit. Yeah so I think that one main point um, the first one is um, equality throughout the whole community and you know coming from someone or two people of color you know the Hill community has changed a lot since even just um, coming as third form year we've changed a lot and that would be an understatement to say that we need to change but I want to you know, reach higher into the ceiling and the sky to better our community and push for more diversity as in race, religion, and gender equality. And I think that's one main reason why we want to run as SGA co-presidents. Um, for better communication, I feel like a lot of issues and students or even faculty are okay with a transparency between the two where essentially the whole campus is on the same page we all know the same things um, we are conveyed the same information but Noah and I really want to push for students to be communicative when it's maybe out of their comfort zone or they don't deem it necessary for example if there's something someone's unhappy with but they feel like they there's a transparency between them and their teacher we want to really encourage that communication even when it's not necessarily needed because that's truly how the we feel the community can improve slowly. And um, we want to delve into the factors that could create a better community. We want to know why or what we can change to help everyone in our community and that's something that we want to work on and we noticed um, sleep, nutrition, and class schedule and those are all things that we want to pursue and on investigating on why and what we can do to make everything better. Especially since um, a majority of us have been day students, uh, a big portion of our lives when we come into a boarding school environment, we forget that this has become like both figuratively and literally our home. So things like nutrition, sleep, schedule that normally have the support and the routine of us at home, we kind of forget or don't shine as much light on those issues at a boarding school because we are at a school, but then we forget that this has also technically become our home. So before we wrap up, um, our last surprise question is each of you, if you were a type of bread, what bread would you be and why? Okay, I guess I would be wheat bread. Um, I think it's similar to white bread, which is in my opinion, the most common bread, but also very different. Also because my mom had made me eat wheat bread my entire life. So I feel like that's when I have more connection to if you were to ask me what bread I am. I would say I'm Italian bread, you know, it's it's simple, but it's common and everyone loves it. I'm just, I'm just saying, Italian bread tastes good 
and it fills you up. So, yeah. Alright, so finally, is there anything else you want the student body to know before the upcoming debate? Yeah, definitely. Um, we think that this year, I mean all past years, but this year especially, because we're a very tight form, we know that there are three very unique um, and strong running partners for the SGA president. Um, we think that across the six of us, we all have unique contributions. And truly, we just want whoever is watching this video or watching the debate or still deciding on who to vote just to um, maybe put more time and effort into understanding what each pair has to offer and then maybe kind of delve into that and see who you relate to most, whose experience, who you believe can opinionate your voice better and really just look on that. But just to keep in mind that truly we believe all three pairs this year running have very strong potential. Thank you so much and good luck on your candidacy. We'll see you at the debate. Thank, Thank you. you.